For those of you who don't know me, I am Lloyd Strayhorn. I am considered an astronumerologist, and that is simply one who puts and blends both the signs of astrology and numerology together. The nice thing about this session is by the time we finish, all of you are gonna know your lucky numbers, how your days work, how to take advantage of the months within the year. Um, uh, let's start by asking how many in this room are under the sign of Capricorn? Because next year is your year. How many is under the sign of Libra? Because next year is your year too, okay? Now, how many in this room are born on the 8th, the 17th, or the 26th? It is your year also. So if you are a Capricorn or a Libra or born on the 8th, the 17th, or the 26th of the month, it is your year. Why, you may ask the question. Well, if you look at 2015 and you add those four numbers across, two plus zero plus one plus five equals eight. And so for all of us, it is gonna be a year where we can do very well financially and romantically but it is the Capricorns and the Libras and the number eights that are gonna be the most outstanding. Now, all of you know your sign, but we all have numbers. So for example, as I was coming up, I met a beautiful lady who was born December the 4th. Now, in the, for those who know the month, they will say, oh, she is a Sagittarius, but she is no longer just a Sagittarius to me anymore. She's a Sagittarius four person because she's born on the 4th of the month. Now let's say we take golden voice Ted Williams, right over there. Now Ted is born September the 22nd, all righty? Now that in some astrological circles will make him a Virgo, or he may have been born under Libra, all depending on the year he was born, the time of day he was born, and the location. That's why an astrologer need all that information so they can put an exact time of when you were born. As a numerologist, I don't need that because once he said he was born on the 22nd, I said, aha, uh -huh, two plus two equals four, just like the lady here who's born on the four. Four people have a distinction about them. They are very odd and unusual. They're very different. If everybody does something one way, number fours want to do it another way. They can't help themselves. If there's the company's rules, the number fours like Ted and this beautiful lady got their own set of rules that work better than theirs, okay? Four people are ahead of their time. This is why four, I call it the number of secret enemies. Haters, jealousy, envy, insecurity, all righty? So four people, because they are ahead of their time, they have to understand that to know me is to love me. So to know that lady is to love her, to know Ted, uh, Williams is to know him too, all righty? Each number has a trait, so we're not gonna leave everybody out, so we're gonna start with the top. How many in this room or in this section here are born on the 1st, the 10th, the 19th, or the 28th of any month? Any ones in here? Okay, good. Well, if you were, that means you don't take orders well, and the winner always comes in what number, folks? Number one. Not number two, three, four, five, or six, but number one, all righty? Number one, people are very assertive. They don't like taking orders well, and they are, are very original. And by the way, and I'm saying it, even though there are no number ones in here, some of you might know some number ones in your family, okay? Um, and because they don't take orders well, Sunday and Tuesdays are their best days, and they always do well in February, followed by April, followed by August. Now, how many in this room are number two people? Born on the second of the month, the 11th of the month, the 20th of the month, or the 21st? If so, you are the sweetie pies in the number scope, okay? Number two people are very gentle, persuasive, creative, artistic, and let us not leave out romantic. Number two people like to dance. Number two people are very psychic and intuitive and they know somebody is lying or flying. I could have on the shirt, suit and tie, look at all the traffic, the legitimacy, and they say, Lloyd, don't give that man your money, okay? Now, it's whether we listen or not, all right? So twos are very perceptive. Their best days are Mondays and they always do well in the months of March, May, July, and October. Now, how many people in here are born on the third of the month, the 12th of the month, I got you, babe, the 21st or the 30th of the month, all right? Three people like to talk. Three is a talking number. 
So I jokingly say at times, I hate to see your phone bill, okay? Because you'll know how to carry on a conversation. Three people are also very popular. Three people are also very youthful. And p three people are normally natural flirts. Not to break up relationships or any kind, but to make sure they're not slipping, that their A game is still on point, all right? Thursday is their best day, and they always do well in March, May, uh, October, and December. How many in here are born on the 4th of the month, the 13th, the 22nd, or the 31st? These are the people who are ahead of their time. So you will say something now, and people don't get it until a little later, which is why I always refer to four people as the number of secret enemies, because four people are actually visionary. Four people are actually a little ahead of the curve with everybody. Wednesday is their best day. Yeah, and Jay-Z, they're both fours. And in fact, when they met, they met in 2002, which is a four. Yeah, and when they got engaged, they got engaged in the fourth month on the fourth day of April. All righty? And in fact, their baby Blue was born in 2011, and two plus zero plus one plus one is two. The baby's name is Blue, which is four letters. Just to talk about a four right quick, okay? All right, got to do the homework up in here. All right, now, so Wednesday's the best day for number fours, and February, June, August are the best months. Number five, people. How many here are born on the 5th, the 14th, or the 23rd of the month? Five people are the kind of people they don't like repeating themselves. If you're dealing with a number five person, please pay attention. They don't like repeating themselves, and they don't like people who are normally slow, dull, and please let us not be boring, too, okay? They love their freedom, and the best way to hold on to a number five is to let them go. Now, let me tell you what is cute in the beginning. Let's say a number five is first dating, and they may say, honey, where you going? What you doing? And they say, oh, that sounds so cute. But after about a week or two of that every morning, oh, that's not cute anymore. All right, we need to change up. Five people are very diversified. They're very talented. They like a lot of variety, and they like to be on the go. The best days for number fives are Wednesdays, and their best months are June and September. How many in here are born on the 6th, the 15th, or the 24th of the month? All right, sixes like nice things. Almost everything they like, they really can't afford, bless their souls, okay? So you got Teresa over there that's born on the 24th of the month. Teresa, aren't you born November 24th? Yeah, okay, just want to let you know I paid attention up in here, okay? Yes, and six people, they, they have this ability to look at a person and they can tell whether you lying or flying. So a person can have on a suit and tie, that don't mean jack to them. Six people normally have great personalities. They are normally very good at all social things. They give the best parties. So when they go to a party, they want to know when you leave and when you give them another one of these, because that was great, okay? And six people can be very stubborn, too, when you get on their bad side. So I say stay on the good side of a number six person. Friday's their best day, and March, excuse me, May and October are their best months. Now, how many in here are born on the 7th of the month, the 16th, that's me, because 1 plus 6 is 7, or the 25th of the month, because 2 plus 5 is 7? And by the way, if I don't get your birthday, I want to see you after this, because I want to find out how you got here. Because you either got here on some month, some day, and some year. Well, number 7 people are very analytical. They like to ask questions. 5s and 7s like to ask a lot of questions. So if you don't like questions being asked of you, Dealing with a five person and dealing with a seven person normally isn't the thing. Seven people are very individualistic. They can be very sarcastic if you catch them on a bad day, too. And sevens like to be their own best company. And they have these weird dreams and suffer with night sweats, to name a few. Monday is the best day for number sevens, and March and July are their best months. Now, how many are here are born on the eighth, like this lady over here that changed her hairstyle on me yesterday? The 17th, 1 plus 7 is 8, or the 26th of the month. How many 8 people? Because if so, next year is your year. Because if you look at 2015, those four numbers add across to an 8. So again, Capricorns, Librans, 8 people like them. 8 people are normally misunderstood in life. So when I see a number 8 person or a number 4 person, my first rule of thumb is the motto should be to know me is to love me. Um, four people, I mean eight people, appear by other people's standards at first to be cold or distant or detached 
or lacking in feelings and affections, yet they are extremely warm, loyal, dedicated, and will stick with a friend through thick and thin, all right? But eight people are intense, so whether in the bedroom or the boardroom, when they get warmed up, boy, you're better to be ready, which is none of my business, okay? So anyway, eight people's best day is on a Saturday, and they always do well in January and October. And finally, those born on the 9th of the month, the 18th or the 8th, uh, 27th of the month. Any nine people in here? Nine people normally think they are the greatest thing since ice cream, okay? Can't tell them jack, all righty? You know, they don't care what I think of them. Who, who is Lloyd Strayhorn? This man don't know me, all righty? So nine people, they don't like taking orders well. They like to be the masters of their fate. They like to be the captains of their ship. They are refreshingly honest. If you are a knucklehead the last time they checked, you are still a knucklehead, okay? And nine people tend to attract, especially the women nines, they tend to attract men in uniforms. Policemen, law enforcement, military, construction, security, same thing. They wear a, they're either wearing a uniform or handling tools, machines, or instruments. Tuesday is the best day for the number nine, and their best months are April and November. Now, uh, I will start with everybody and give everybody their lucky numbers and lucky days. So you're born September the 8th, so your lucky numbers are the 8th, 5, and 6, and your best days are always on Saturday, Wednesday, and Friday. Your birthday? Huh? July 15th. So your lucky numbers are the 6, 2, and 7. Mondays and Fridays are your best days, and your best months are always in March, May, July, and October. And you are... January 9th? Okay, uh, month over dinner always on your case, which is none of my business. Anyway, your lucky numbers are the 9th.